Along with the Toyota Tacoma, the Chevy Colorado has been one of the best-selling mid-size pickup trucks in the United States for a long time. The Chevy Colorado is a popular vehicle with a great number of satisfied owners, mainly due to its exceptional performance in almost all aspects, but this model has certain shortcomings that may be major turnoffs for a lot of modern purchasers. Come along as we go over 8 reasons why you might want to give the Chevrolet Colorado a second thought. Number 8. Driving Characteristics The truck's driving experience matters more than ever in the current market. Customers want a smooth and pleasurable ride, but the Chevy Colorado feels antiquated and drives like a truck from 20 years ago. Because of the Colorado's rear leaf spring suspension, the back end may seem unsteady when traveling at high speeds. Many rival vehicles, such as the recently released Toyota Tacoma, have abandoned this configuration in favor of more contemporary suspension designs, like the multi-link rear suspension, which provides better handling and comfort. If a person primarily uses their truck for work, a leaf spring suspension might still be appropriate. However, the multi-link arrangement is unquestionably the superior option for a smoother and more comfortable driving experience. In order to improve driver satisfaction and remain competitive, we hope Chevy will think about equipping the Colorado with a more sophisticated suspension system in later generations. Number 7. Limited Configuration Options the capacity to tailor a truck to a buyer's demands is a major factor in why they might choose one over another. This involves selecting from several cabin and bed arrangements. The Chevy Colorado had many options in prior models, such as crew cabs with different bed sizes and extended cabs. The crew cab with a 5-foot bed is the only combination available in the most recent model, though. Although many customers like this setup, many are displeased with Chevy's decision to discontinue the extended cab with the longer 6-foot bed. Consequently, some have resorted to rival models, like the Toyota Tacoma, which still provides an assortment of cabin and bed combinations. We're hoping Chevy will fix this problem and provide additional configuration choices for upcoming models. Number 6. Base model feels underpowered. When choosing a new vehicle, power is essential since it must provide enough performance to be deemed a reasonable investment. The 2.7-liter inline-four turbo engine of the Chevy Colorado is designed to be strong and long-lasting. There are two versions of this engine available, though – high output and low output. Strong performance is provided by the high output variant, which produces an amazing 310 horsepower and 430 pound-foot of torque. On the other hand, the low output variant produces a comparatively low 237 horsepower and 259 pound foot of torque. In contrast, the base Ford Ranger's 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine generates up to 270 horsepower and 310 pound foot of torque, which is a substantial advantage over the engine of the Chevy Colorado, which has lesser output. Positively, you may tweak the 2.7-liter turbo engine to produce more power, which is useful if you want to maximize performance, but your model is out of warranty. Number 5. No replacement for displacement The Chevy Colorado's engine design is another flaw. Despite its sturdy construction, the engine's tiny size might be a drawback in some circumstances, particularly when towing and hauling heavy objects. Small engines frequently have shorter engine lifespans when used continuously and heavily, which could require replacements earlier than intended. Therefore, you might want to think about getting a larger full-size truck with a V8 gasoline engine or a diesel alternative if you require a truck that can tackle difficult duties with reliability. Furthermore, some drivers may find the Colorado's 2.7-liter engine bothersome because to its evident vibrations and loudness. These vibrations are caused in part by the inline-four engine's inherent imbalance and the direct injection mechanism. Before making a purchase, we advise taking the Colorado for a test drive to make sure the engine's performance and vibrations live up to your expectations. Number 4. No Diesel Variant The lack of a diesel engine choice for the Chevy Colorado is another disadvantage. Diesel engines are well known for their outstanding torque and towing ability, making them ideal for use in workhorse applications. A 2.8-liter Duramax inline-four diesel engine with 181 horsepower and 369 pound-foot of torque was available in the Colorado until 2022. It wasn't the strongest engine, but its remarkable torque allowed it to function admirably when pulling and carrying loads. 
Many customers who respect the advantages of diesel engines, such as their superior torque and fuel efficiency, are irritated by the present model's lack of a diesel alternative. In contrast, the 2.8 Duramax engine reached up to 28 miles per gallon on the highway, a statistic that is difficult to equal for gasoline engines. Diesel engines not only offer great performance, but also save on fuel costs. Number 3. No Hybrid Model the lack of a hybrid option for the Chevy Colorado is another complaint raised by some consumers. Offering a hybrid option can greatly increase sales because hybrids are becoming more and more popular in the current market. For instance, the Toyota Tacoma now comes with the iForce Max hybrid variant, which offers exceptional fuel efficiency. Ford is also releasing a hybrid Ranger for the 2025 model year, which has a maximum towing capability of 7,750 pounds and an electric-only range of up to 7 miles. Chevy needs to think about offering a hybrid option for the 2025 model year in order to stay competitive. We hope to see a hybrid version of the 2.7-litre engine introduced, albeit the specifics are still unknown. A plug-in hybrid, though more expensive, would provide comparable fuel economy and a range of up to 30 miles on electricity alone. In contrast, a mild hybrid would be less expensive and might increase fuel efficiency to about 30 miles per gallon combined. For people who would rather drive an electric vehicle for short distances, the Colorado would be a desirable choice thanks to these qualities. Number 2. Excessive Use of Cheap Plastics the Chevy Colorado's use of cheap materials is another area in which it fails. The steering wheel, which feels particularly cheap, is one of several examples of the cheap plastic used throughout the cabin. Though the cabin boasts cutting-edge technology and a contemporary style, the selection of materials is somewhat disappointing. This problem is especially noticeable in the work truck WT model, which has no luxury features and a ton of rough plastic surfaces. The plain fabric of the seats adds to an otherwise unimpressive experience. Although we acknowledge that Chevy had to make certain concessions to keep the vehicle competitive and affordable, the selection of materials is a major drawback. Number 1. Rear Seats Lack Comfort The comfort of the rear seat is the Chevy Colorado's last floor. The Colorado has a crew cab that can seat five passengers, but there isn't much legroom in the back. Taller passengers may find this problematic as they need more room. Furthermore, the back seats are not as cozy as one may wish. If you transport people on a regular basis, you might want to look at alternative trucks, as the Colorado falls short when it comes to mid-sized truck passenger comfort. We appreciate your time and we'll see you in the upcoming video.